Have you ever had a company or maybe a bike that took you a long time to hear about, but once you found out about them, you just kept falling more and more in love with every new thing you learned? Well, that's essentially my story with RSD Bikes. You see, RSD Bikes was pretty much off the radar for me until a conversation I had with Steve from Hardtail Party, who recommended this middle child V2 frame as being a really good frame for a guy like me who wanted essentially a BMX bike that I could ride the trails with. And Steve's suggestion was bang on. I absolutely love this frame. I've done a lot of videos on this bike and if you're interested in those, I'll have those linked throughout this video. But today we're actually gonna talk about the whole entire RSD Bikes catalog. Because you see, there's a lot more things that I love about RSD than just this bike. Every bike RSD makes from their flagship fat bike model to their brand new 150 mil enduro bike are all super rad. One of my favorite things about this company doesn't even have to do with the bikes at all. The owner, Alex, is one of the coolest guys you'll meet in the bike industry. He's super kind and super helpful to all owners and potential owners of the bikes that he makes. Sadly, however, I feel like there's a lot of people who just haven't heard about RSD. So I'm gonna take it upon myself to change that. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna go through every single model that they make, talk about the spec, talk about what I like and maybe don't like about that particular bike and suggest who I think that bike could be for. As with all of my videos, I've included timestamps down in the description. So if you're only interested in one bike in particular, go down there, you can check it out. But the rest of us are gonna go ahead and begin with, like I said, RSD's flagship bike, the RSD Mayor. The Mayor is the first mountain bike that RSD ever made, and it's now on its fifth iteration. And even though this fat bike can fit up to five inch tires, RSD makes it really clear both in their branding for this bike, but also in the geometry, that this is still an all around shredder. The bike is right in line with modern trail hardtail geometry numbers with a 67 degree head tube angle and a 74 degree seat tube angle, which means you're not gonna be confined to taking it down just a snowy road. It also has sliding dropouts, so you can adjust the chain stays from 435 millimeters all the way up to 450 millimeters, which is one of the things that makes this bike so versatile, as well as lets it run such wide tires. RSD offers the Mayor in three build options on both the aluminum and the titanium version of the bike. Two of these options for each frame come with the Manitou mast on fork, and one comes with RSD's own in-house carbon fiber rigid fork. If you choose to go with one of those versions of the Mayor that comes with that Manitou Mastodon, the bike will come with 100 millimeters of travel, but it can actually take a fork up to 120 millimeters. Again, just showing that even though this bike's a little pudgy, it's still ready to shred. The least expensive way that you can get yourself on a Mayor complete bike is with the aluminum frame and carbon fiber fork, and that'll set you back 2149 US dollars. On the other end of the spectrum, the most expensive Mayor build is the titanium frame with the pro level Manitou Mastodon fork, which is $4,899. RSD also offers the aluminum and titanium Mayor frames as a frame only kit, and that'll set you back $799 or $2,599 respectively. The aluminum version of the Mastodon frame weighs a measly five pound, 10 ounces. I was actually surprised it was that light. I was thinking it was gonna be more. And the complete bikes are surprisingly light too, with the carbon fiber fork version being only 30 pounds and the Mastodon version being 33.4 pounds. Unsurprisingly, the titanium frame with its titanium and the high spec parts is a little bit lighter. The frame itself is five pounds, one ounce, the build with the carbon fiber fork comes in at 26 pounds, three ounces, and the full build with the Manitou Mastodon is 29 pounds, 14 ounces. The fifth generation of the Mastodon is offered in four different colors. The first of which being raw titanium, which as you'd guess is only available with the titanium frame, and then three colors on the aluminum frame. Nebula, which is essentially black, Vendetta, which is a cool kind of deep red, and then raw aluminum. Almost every one of RSD's bikes is offered in that raw aluminum color, which I really wish more brands would do because the raw metal just looks so cool. So if you're on the market for a fat bike, then the RSD Mayor V5 could be the ticket for you. But let's say you want something maybe close to that five inch tire, but you still want something that's gonna be just as capable to go and take on a technical single track trail. Well, RSD's got you there too. And that's with the RSD Sargent. The Sargent, now on its fourth generation, is RSD's quintessential plus bike. And when I say plus bike here, I'm not talking about like 27.5 by 2.8 or something like that. No, this is a legit plus bike. It can run 29 by 3.0 tires or 27.5 by 4.0 tires. But don't think that means that this bike is just a putz around on low incline terrain. The geometry figures on this frame really show its intention and that is to be ridden hard on aggressive trails. 
It's got a surprisingly slack 65 and a half degree head tube, a pretty short seat tube of just 440 millimeters on a size large, and a relatively long reach at 463 millimeters on the size large. The Sargent is spec'd with a 140 millimeter fork, but you can run 150 millimeters if you want to make it just that much more aggressive. The Sargent is the only bike in RSD's lineup that's offered at only one metal, and that metal is aluminum. Just like the Mayer, it's offered in that really cool raw aluminum, as well as a Royal Navy, which is kind of a deep, dark blue. RSD sells the Sargent in three different builds, as well as a frame-only kit. The 27.5 and 29-inch models, including a dropper post, will set you back 2,549 US dollars. To get the 27.5-inch bike with the carbon fiber fork will be 2,199, and to get the frame kit is just 749 US dollars. The Sargent frame weighs five pounds, eight ounces, and the complete bike weighs 29 pounds, 14 ounces. RSD refers to the Sargent as the Swiss army knife of trail bikes. And I think that's a really good description. It's super versatile and the frame also has full mounting bolts. So you could bike pack with this thing. You could take it across the country. It's that versatile. Next up is my personal favorite, and as you guessed it, it's the RSD Middle Child. I've always used the word playful when describing this bike, and I think RSD agrees. I'm just gonna read you the blurb off their website because I think it fits this bike so well. They say, there's one in every family, the one that feels excluded from the bunch. If you're down with that attitude because you like to go your own way, then we'd like to introduce you to the rowdiest member of the RSD family, the Middle Child. Every detail on this premium quality frame screams skip work and let's party. And I completely agree with that. This is a play bike. It's got a slack, but not too slack, 64 and a half degree head tube angle. It's got a short seat tube at just 440 millimeters and super short chain stays that can go all the way down to 415 millimeters. Just like the Sargent, the middle child is spec'd with a 140 millimeter fork. I've upped fork mine to the maximum travel that RSD recommends, which is 150 mils. And I love it like that. I said earlier that the Sargent has the least options in terms of frame metal. Well, the middle child has the most. You can get this in your choice of aluminum, steel, or titanium. Each of those metals is gonna give this bike a different ride feel, and it's gonna make it best suited for what type of rider that you are. I've been riding the aluminum version for the last six months or so, and it's super snappy, poppy, light. It's a ton of fun and super agile, but those steel or even titanium frames are gonna be a little more forgiving and probably better for longer days in the saddle. Unsurprisingly, the titanium frame is the lightest of the three middle children, weighing just five pounds, three ounces. The complete bike is also light, being just 27 pounds, 12 ounces. The aluminum frame is just a little bit heavier at five pounds, eight ounces, and the complete bike at that highest level Dior build is 30 pounds, two ounces. My personal middle child is down to just about 28 pounds, but I am running a single speed setup and I do run 27.5 inch wheels and tires, so that's definitely taken the weight down a little bit. As you'd probably guess, the steel framed middle child is the heaviest of the three, weighing six pounds, 10 ounces. The aluminum frame is offered once again in that cool raw color, obsidian, basically black, and then sky blue. The steel version comes in a cool kind of iridescent purple that RSD calls aubergine, vertigus, which is essentially teal, and matte black. The titanium frame, however, just comes in again that raw titanium color. Just like the Sargent, the middle child is optimized around either 29 or 27.5 inch plus tires, but it's got a relatively high bottom bracket, so I've actually been running it with 27 by 2.4 tires. So it's a super versatile frame. And speaking of versatility, RSD sells this in a whopping 11 different build options. And you know I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about the spec on each one of those. What I will say, however, is that the cheapest middle child will set you back only $19.99. That's less than 2,000 US dollars, which is super rad for a bike that can do pretty much anything. But let's say you want a little bit more than that. Well, the most expensive middle child is of course the titanium frame with the Shimano Dior build, which is 4,399 US dollars. The chromoly frames fit somewhere in the middle. As you probably guessed, RSD also offers this as a frame only option. The aluminum frame being $749, the chromoly frame being $100 more at $849, and the titanium frame, a big jump up from that, being $2,499. If the middle child is the middle child, then this next bike is definitely the big brother. That's the RSD RS291, which is RSD's answer to the increasing demand of an ultra aggressive enduro hardtail. 
As the name would imply, the 291 is built around a 29 inch wheel with a super slack 63 and a half degree head tube angle. It's also got a nice and steep 75 and a half degree seat tube angles to counter that and make sure that the reach numbers don't get too out of hand because this is a really big frame. The large coming in with a 477 millimeter reach, which of course on a hardtail is only gonna grow when you sink into your sag. Just like all of RSD's bikes, the RS291 has adjustable chain stays ranging from 420 to 435 millimeters. The RS291 is specced with a 150 millimeter fork, but if you so choose, RSD says it's completely fine to up fork that 10 millimeters and run a 160 mil fork if you really wanna push it hard on all your enduro tracks. The RS291 is offered in both chromoly and titanium. The steel frame weighs seven pounds, 10 ounces, and the titanium frame is a whole three pounds lighter, being just four pounds, 15 ounces. And it's a similar story with the complete bikes, with the steel bike coming in at 31 pounds, 12 ounces, and the titanium frame being just 28 pounds, one ounce. The chromoly frame comes in a really cool, kind of tan olive color called gypsum, black or obsidian, and then a cool dark blue, again, kind of iridescent color that they call misconduct. As you guessed it, the titanium frame comes in raw titanium. The chromoly version will set you back 3,299 US dollars, whereas the titanium version is $5,499. The RS291 is definitely the bike that you wanna buy if you're looking to go as fast as you can and kick the ass out of all your full suspension friends. But what if you wanna join your full suspension friends? Well, RSD's got you covered with that because they actually make two full suspension bikes and those are the bikes that we're talking about next. The Wildcat 125, formerly known as just the Wildcat, is RSD's first full suspension bike, and as you probably guessed, comes with 125 millimeters of travel in the back, paired with a 140 millimeter fork. This bike sits firmly in the down country category with a 65 degree head tube angle and 76 degree seat tube angle. And speaking of down country, this bike was actually just featured in Pink Bike's down country field test, and it did super well there, even though it was competing against bikes that cost three or four times the price. All the testers were really impressed with how well this bike climbed, descended, and of course, the value of the bike. So speaking of value, how much does this thing actually cost? Well, the highest end Dior version will set you back 3,749 US dollars. If that's a little steep for your taste, don't worry about it because the SX version, the cheapest version this bike is sold at, is only $2,999. RSD also sells it as a frame-only kit for $1,599. Another cool thing is that RSD offers each one of those build levels in either a 29-inch or a 27.5-inch wheel across all sizes. So regardless of what your intentions are with this bike and what your budget is, you can find one that's going to work super well for you. The bike has adjustable chain stays from 425 to 440 millimeters to help make that different tire size option available and has a pretty long reach per size, the size large coming in at 484 millimeters. As I mentioned earlier, the bike is specced with a 140 millimeter fork, but RSD says that you can bump it up to 150 and be just fine. Now, I know I just called this a down country bike, but it's not exactly down country weight. The lightest build weighs 32 pounds, 10 ounces, and the frame weighs seven pounds, 10 ounces. But again, keep in mind that this is an aluminum bike, whereas a lot of other bikes in this category are carbon fiber. The Wildcat 125 is the only RSD bike that's not available in that raw aluminum that I love, but that's okay because the other colors are super cool too. I think my personal favorite is that same gypsum color that the RS291 is offered in. It's also offered in a green onyx, which is kind of a deep olive green, as well as black. To be honest, I think this kind of 125 to 150 millimeter bike that we used to call trail bikes that I guess are now down country bikes is one of the best options for a lot of riders out there. And the RSD Wildcat 125 is a fantastic option if you're looking to get your first, second, or 14th full suspension bike. But let's say you're looking for even more than that 125 millimeter platform. Before a couple months ago, I probably would have had to steer you to a different brand because RSD didn't really make an enduro bike, but that all changed when they released the all new Wildcat 150. Yep, that's 150 millimeters in the back paired with a 160 millimeter fork or even a 170 millimeter fork if you wanna go all the way. And before you think that they just swapped the shock and the fork on the Wildcat 125, let me talk to you a little bit more about some of the huge changes that RSD made with this frame to make it super aggressive. 
It features a 63 and a half degree head tube angle to make it super confident on the descents, but also a 77 degree seat tube angle to make it manageable and comfortable with the climbs. The chain stays are on the shorter end of the spectrum for an enduro bike, ranging from 425 to 440 millimeters. And the reach is right about on par, if not a little bit long. The size large has a 490 millimeter reach. As of right now, the Wildcat 150 is only offered with an aluminum frame and comes in two colors. My favorite clear coat, as well as Pacific, which is essentially blue. Now, where I said the Wildcat 125 was kind of heavy compared to its competitors, the Wildcat 150 is on the lighter side. The frame actually weighs the exact same, seven pounds, 10 ounces, and the complete bike is just 32 pounds, 10 ounces. Unlike all of the other bikes that RSD sells, the Wildcat 150 is actually only available in one build option, and that's gonna set you back 4,249 US dollars, with the frame alone being $1,999. Now this bike actually isn't going to be available until March or April of this year, but I'm super excited to announce that I've been talking with Alex at RSD a little bit, and it sounds like I'm going to be able to get on one of these bikes early and do some review videos that you'll be able to find exclusively on this channel, and I'll be telling you all about my first impressions of this super rad enduro bike. So there you have it. All six bikes that RSD sells and all their frame options, all their build options, everything. And hopefully by watching this video, you're now just as stoked on RSD bikes as I am. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I am a brand ambassador for RSD. And again, that's because I love the company. All the information I gave you today though is completely factual. It's straight off their website. And again, links to all these bikes if you wanna learn more or fact check me are all in the description. One cool thing that comes with being a brand ambassador is that I can offer you guys all an exclusive discount on these bikes. If you go on their website and use the discount code Josh, 5% off, that's the percentage sign, you can save 5% off of any complete, any frame, anything you buy on their site. If you've got any more questions about any of these bikes, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I don't know the answer, I'll reach out to Alex, the owner of RSD, and I'll let you know what he says. While you're down there, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, then head over to the RSD website, browse through their bikes, and let me know which one you think is the coolest. After you've done that, hop on your bike, go for a ride, and hopefully I'll see you out there.